how often have you seen a cat? They seem to have a calling for it. Dressed up as Mrs. Doubtfire. Marilyn Monroe. He has a fantastic wig collection. Mr. Rogers. He definitely has a larger wardrobe than me. The list goes on and on and on. So this is Horatio. <laughs> And he is, how old are you? 12 years old? Yes, you're 12 years old, and he will be 13 years old this year. Lisa Schaefer is Horatio's owner and his costume designer. And he always knows when I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot, as I like to call it. <laughs> and it's like, okay, he, I don't have call for him half the time. He's already right, right there to, to do the photo shoot. <laughs> Horatio has been dressed up as former presidents, icons in literature, characters from movies, singers, even athletes. And he always knows whenever I'm crafting and will come in and be very engaging. Lisa makes each outfit by hand, adds some props, snap the photo. And he is our Catterday star for the library. <laughs> and do you have the perfect spokesperson for the Center County Library and Historical Museum. Of course, it's a lot of fun and we love seeing the photos and everything, but there's also a bigger message that you're kind of trying to spread with these pictures. Well, it's really about spreading the love of libraries and learning and literacy, showing that there are so many opportunities that libraries offer people and they're not just books. Every Saturday, a new picture of Horatio is posted to the library's social media sites. We have people engaging with us from across the country and across the world, which is fantastic. Here's the gritty kitty to celebrate Philadelphia's birthday. How about Horatio dressed up like Big Bird to mark the day Sesame Street premiered? or as an astronaut to promote one of the library's summer learning programs. And you said that he likes this, like he does not complain about dressing up at all. He doesn't. Um, he gets treats for it, of course, and he knows he gets treats. His motivation could be the extra treats he gets or the attention he's creating for libraries all over. It's like, hey, I've got this library. I can do all sorts of things just by walking in or by going to the online library and accessing their website. So every Saturday, Horatio will continue to be the star of a Catterday post because behind all of the hats, the wigs, and the costumes, these photos are helping people look a little further into what libraries have to offer. It's definitely made people, I think, rethink what libraries are and what they do. And I hope that, you know, they find something fun and new and engaging about it.